want to continue our uh, little talk on dependent origination. In our, just to give an example from our day-to-day -day life, uh, when you wake up in the morning, you may ask somebody, uh, is it going to rain? Then answer will come, Dep all depends. Or, or do you think you can sleep well tonight? Uh, all depends. So these are the normal, regular answer we get for the question uh, that uh, do you believe in that? Do you do this and so on? That means you you always say that depends. Meaning nothing can happen uh, in certainty. Uh, whether they are, tomorrow will be cloudy or windy, rainy, snowy, and so forth. When we ask these questions, you say. All depends, depends on various variable factors. Similarly, our uh, cycle of uh, existence uh, also depends. One exists depending on the one before that. Uh, this is the uh, normal way of our expression. In the discourse of dependent origination, this series of factors that uh, one uh, preceding factor uh, conditions the following factor. Therefore, following factor depends on the preceding factor. So today, I like to uh, recite the formula, and this is very easy to remember, uh, even if I say in Pali, uh, because it is, there, there's a kind of repetition. So uh, let me recite it first, and if, we, if I don't have time now, after this uh, meditation session, I tell the meaning in what I, meaning of what I recited now. Avijja Pachaya Sankhara Sankhara Pachaya Vinyanang Vinyan Pachaya Nama Rupang Nama Rupa Pachaya Salayatanang Salayatana Pachaya Passo Passa Pachaya Vedana Vedana Pachaya Tanha Tanha Pachaya Upadanang Upadana Pachaya Bhavo Bhava Pachaya Jati Jati Pachaya Jara Maranang Soka Parideva Dukkha Domanasa Upayasa Sambhavanti Eva Metasa Kevalasa Dukkha Khandasa Samudayohoti Those who are familiar with the Pali or English translation of Buddhist Thero or the Buddhist texts, uh, one can find this formula. In this form, in uh, Udana Pali, Udana Pali, there are three discourses. First three discourses uh, start. This we can find in the first discourse, and the second discourse we can find the Shiva's order. Shiva's order is. is uh, Avijjaya Tveva Asesa Viraga Niroda Sankara Nirodo. 
ಸಂಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿರೋಧೋ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿರೋಧ ನಾಮರೂಪ ನಿರೋಧೋ ನಾಮರೂಪ ನಿರೋಧ ಸಲಾಯತನ ನಿರೋಧೋ ಸಲಾಯತನ ನಿರೋಧ ಪಶ್ಚ ನಿರೋಧೋ ಪಶ್ಚ ನಿರೋಧ ವೇದನಾ ನಿರೋಧೋ ವೇದನಾ ನಿರೋಧ ತನ್ನ ನಿರೋಧೋ ತನ್ನ ನಿರೋಧ ಉಪಾದಾನ ನಿರೋಧೋ ಉಪಾದಾನ ನಿರೋಧ ಭವ ನಿರೋಧೋ ಭವ ನಿರೋಧ ಜಾತಿ ನಿರೋಧೋ ಜಾತಿ ನಿರೋಧ ಜರ ಮರಣ ಶೋಕ ಪರಿದೇವ ದುಃಖ ದೋಮಣಸ ಉಪಾಯ ನಿರುಜ್ಜಂತಿ ಏವೇತಸ ಕೇವಲ ದುಃಖ ಕಂದಸ ನಿರೋಧೋತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಈಸ್ when this is not this is not and the section i recited uh, second time is an example for that formula so each formula has examples the third formula i don't want to repeat again is when uh, all these four combine together when this arises this arises when this being this is when this ceases this ceases all these three uh, combine together it is called ascending order and descending order together so this is a very simple formula and very uh, traditional examples for each formula now that is the whole dependent origination teaching now are this on various occasions buddha explained it in detail each and every one of them in uh, sanyutta nikaya there is called nidana sanyutta uh, dhiga nikaya there is a uh, discourse called mahanidana and in other places like uh, anguttara nikaya madhyama nikaya uh, even uh, sutta nipata uh, there are there is a section called dvaya tanu pasana it sounds like vipassana but that also is related to this teaching so friends now that is uh, the subject that we want to discuss some in some details uh, as i understand i as i have understood it uh, okay let me stop there and then we continue our uh, metta practice and then we start the rest you close all the pictures and may all beings be happy and secure may all beings have happy minds whatever living beings there may be without exception weak or strong long large medium short subtle or gross visible or invisible living near or far born or coming to birth may all beings have happy minds let no one deceive another nor despise anyone anywhere neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another as a mother who risks her own life to protect her only child even so towards all living beings one should cultivate a boundless heart one should cultivate for all the world art of boundless loving friendliness above below and all around unobstructed without hatred or resentment whether standing walking sitting lying down or in a bed 
one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here, not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision, removing desire from sensual pleasures. One comes never again to birth in the womb. Friends, it is very wonderful that all of you remember this discourse and uh, memorizing this discourse, at least in English, those who speak English, uh, would benefit them tremendously because this becomes a part of their life. This you digest, assimilate into your system and uh, make it available anytime, anywhere, whenever you are awake in any posture. You can see the benefit of this yourself and therefore it is very good for us to remember, repeat it uh, again and again. With this very wonderful, very noble thought, let us begin our practice. This is our background from which real metta generates and we feel it in our whole body, mind, entire personality. So, Amman Vittu might feel that metta is emanating from your body, radiating from your body and mind. We have to bring it to that level. <clears throat> then we pay attention to our breathing, noticing inhale as inhaling, exhaling as exhaling, and noticing the beginning, middle, and end of each inhaling and each exhaling. And then you become fully aware of the entire breath, body, breathing process. And then your body becomes calm, relaxed, and peaceful. The breath becomes calm, relaxed, and peaceful. The mind becomes calm, relaxed, and peaceful without words. And then all your hindrances, your greed, resentment or anger, restlessness and worry, sleepiness and drowsiness, and doubt, especially doubt about the practice. You are the witness who experience the benefit which dispels your doubt. And then you feel the breath, you experience the perception, you become aware of your own attention and be conscious of all this. And they all change as we breathe in and breathe out. None of them keeps lingering in our mind. For instance, when we breathe in, our feeling, perception, thought, and consciousness change with the inhaling breath. When we exhale, our feeling, perception, thought, and consciousness change with the exhaling. So this is definitely happening. 
only when you stay you can notice this happening and then you are after hindrance has subsided when you feel this change then you are very unexcited calm relaxed and you gain concentration where you your mind let go of whatever bothers you let go of your thoughts and then you experience real metta in your entire personality you experience generosity experience metta you feel compassionate towards all living beings who especially are in pain and suffering due to this covid 19 which is devastating the whole world and we do our bit to help all these beings in every nook and corner of the world who suffer who are potential of getting this they all be well happy and peaceful we all then gain concentration with this concentration we even see our own yes in the minutest way all subtlest refinest changes can be noticed in a very clear clear way and uh, there is no way that you can stop any of them and you are with this changing situation with this i let to continue your practice and uh, afterward i start talking again
This is our very earnest wish once again. No matter how many times we make this wish, it never becomes too much. Still, it is too short compared to the suffering going on in the world. Even if you have to force yourself to go to work due to various uh, pressures, I think it would be very good for you to wear face mask, gloves, clothes that prevent this virus coming to you, stopping it, and take precautions out of meta for all living beings and yourself, and also to continue running the work, the country, the world. We should not let this virus take over the whole world. We want to do our bit, each and every one of us, helping each and every one of us out of compassion and metta. We must do our bit. And then we will be able to fight this common enemy and get back to our regular life live long in good health. With this, I like to stop talking and then let us know our little talk. First, I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this session that uh, I mentioned or read the formula in the ascending order and descending order. The meaning of the formula that the, the examples of the formula I recited, formula is the same, examples can be various vary, but uh, the series of examples the Buddha gave are very, very profound, very deep uh, examples. For instance, depending on ignorance arises volitional formations. Dependent on volitional formations arises consciousness. Depending on consciousness arises mentality and materiality. Depending on mentality and materiality arises six-fold basis. Depending on six-fold base arises contact. Depending on contact arises feelings. Dependent on feeling arises craving. Dependent on craving arises clinging. Dependent on clinging, clinging arises becoming. Dependent on becoming arises birth. Depending on birth arises growth, decay, death, sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair. Thus is the arising of 
whole mass of suffering. Then the uh, descending order, the negative side of the example is the entire cessation of ignorance depending on entire cessation of ignorance volitional formation cease depending on cessation of volitional formations consciousness ceases dependent on consciousness ceases mentality and materiality depending on mentality and materiality ceases contact depending on contact depending on cessation of contact ceases uh, the, the feeling depending on cessation of feeling ceases uh, craving depending on cessation of craving ceases clinging dependent on cessation of clinging ceases grasping dependent uh, becoming dependent on becoming uh, cessation of becoming ceases birth depending on uh, cessation of birth ceases de uh, aging death sorrow lamentation pain, grief, and despair. Thus is the cessation of entire mass of suffering. And then in the third watch of the night that Buddha attained enlightenment, he used the formula again in uh, combine all this together. He said, with the, when this arises, this arises, when this ceases, this ceases. And uh, with the disappearance of this, this disappears. And then he repeated the same formula. So these are the examples I mentioned. Now, uh, I also repeated several times only when we see both rising and falling, the we uh, fall into one extreme or the other. If we see only rising and uh, ignore falling, then we follow one extremes. Or if we follow, see the falling without rising, we follow another extreme. In order to balance the practice, we have to see both rising and falling because only when something rises, it falls. There has to be something to fall. Therefore, when something rises, it falls. For instance, this uh, uh, in the first place, we don't know uh, these two, rising and falling. Therefore, uh, we uh, don't uh, uh, see both. Uh, and that is some ignorance. Something arises, we don't see the rising and something vanishes, we don't see the vanishing. That's it's of ignorance. Take, for instance, this COVID-19 itself. Nobody knows really how it started. Nobody knows. All, all we have is just speculations. Now, if we keep talking about it, blaming each other, it is not going to go away. And therefore, we have to be wise to do something to stop it. Then we see the beginning. Otherwise, this goes on and on and on in cycle. 
in a cycle or circle you cannot find the beginning we have to make an effort to find a beginning in ourselves the beginning is in our taking care of ourselves as well as others then we all come to very realistic solution the buddha did the same thing people were talking about ignorance and ignorance ignorance but uh, uh, they don't know how or they may be talking about the suffering somebody may talk about the impermanence in this time and uh, they pick bits and pieces from here and, and talk about them buddha put all of them together and so the for the so the formula and therefore he began the he started the the, the he found the beginning of this repetition cycle so that is how he solved he uh, resolved the problem in anything we cannot find the beginning and therefore we have to start from ourselves without depending on somebody else as much as we can do there are many things that we cannot solve cannot even they may not even uh, important to us for instance if somebody were to think of the origin or beginning of the world or universe that person may not find it because the buddha himself said uh, uh, avijja nivarana tanna sangyojana uh, avijja nivarana then means uh, uh, ignorance is uh, blocking our vision craving uh, bind together and therefore we cannot find the solution so he started he he broke the uh, cycle by seeing what is happening to himself as well as to others so he began with uh, vipassi bodhisattva began from the uh, uh, death sorrow lamentation pain and so on and when in uh, reverse order this our bodhisattva began from ascending order and then he found the origin of our problem is nothing but ignorance we don't see things as they really are so he depending on ignorance ignorance is not something uh, you can see uh, you can touch but it is a mental state we can it it falls in under the category of nama which we will explain later on in details and uh, when that is uh, found then the rest it all fell in place uh, so ignorance is uh, is like darkness darkness does not ignorance of course always compare to darkness or use darkness as an example to illustrate what ignorance is so ignorance is just there and then within ignorance uh, individuals do something like groping in the dark not knowing uh, what they do uh, therefore uh, when ign- in during in, in ignorance when something happens that that happening is happening due to our will that means we do something in with ignorance uh, without knowing it completely we do something when we come to uh, that level i will explain what we what uh, i mean and therefore uh, to start the whole uh, ending of suffering buddha found that we have to 
get rid of our ignorance. In order to get rid of our ignorance, uh, in the uh, what you call Dhamma Chakapatana Sutta first discourse, he found the way which is called middle path. So, dependent origination is part of the middle path. In the middle path is the eight steps. The first step of the middle path is understanding, right understanding. If the ignorance is the cause, the opposite of ignorance is understanding. That is why Buddha mentioned in the, deep, in the Noble Eightfold Path, number one is right understanding. Why we need right understanding? We want to get rid of this ignorance. And then from right understanding, we uh, open the way to get rid of our ignorance and get rid of our suffering. So at the end of uh, Mahasadhapattha, uh, what do you call uh, the first sermon, Dhamma Chakrapartana Sutta, also, Tassayeva uh, Tannaya, Tassayeva Tannaya, Asesa Viraga Nirodho, Jago Padnishadva Muti Analeva. The very same craving, the cessation, uh, ending uh, without remainder of this craving is the end of uh, suffering. So you can see ignorance is the beginning of suffering. Understanding is the beginning of removing our suffering and Therefore, in that series, Buddha showed craving is the is is supported by ignorance. That is why, since these two are like a twins, one cycle begins with ignorance, other cycle begins with uh, uh, understanding. In between these two, we have craving. Uh, Craving is, uh, craving has ignorance because one can never be, be uh, never crave uh, without ignorance. Ignorance is not seeing the danger of craving and these two together and to remedy, to get rid of this, we have to start with understanding. So uh, these three, go together. Ignorance, craving, and understanding. Uh, understanding of ignorance and both not understanding uh, will increase our ignorance and then uh, increase our craving. And therefore we have to have a good understanding, right understanding, to get rid of our ignorance, both of which combine together, get rid of our craving, which is the cause of suffering. So you can see these the three, out of all these three, right understanding is the factor that affects, that uh, help us to get rid of ignorance as well as craving. And that is why in the Noble Eightfold Path, Buddha started right understanding as number one. So with this, I think we end this morning session. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. And I, again, before I uh, conclude this, I want to wish once again, all those who are suffering, all those who are helping them to be from suffering uh, and all those uh, uh, who are facilitating all this uh, support and uh, also wishing every one of us all and 
everyone must do our bit to uh, of this uh, common enemy called COVID-19 and come back to our normal regular life and live long in very good